This week our theme is bugs and you can see a bumblebee, a butterfly. So we're going to be making bumblebee and a butterfly. We're going to be using different materials. But for our first project, I want to make a caterpillar. And all we're going to need for a caterpillar is some white paper, some crayons or markers or color pencils or even paint. And we're going to need um, a cap, maybe a water bottle cap or a juice bottle cap, anything that's not too big. And I'm going to start right away with a green crayon. So I want to make it pretty bright, but you can, um, if you're not too sure about tracing, you can use a pencil that you can erase later because crayons are not erasable. So I made one circle and then the next one I'm going to make a little higher. And if you miss a spot, you can always come back and fill it in. They don't have to be perfect. So another one, even higher. And maybe one more higher or yeah, let's make one more high. And then they're going to get lower. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make maybe two more. So six. And seven on the bottom. So you can see I got seven circles. They go from bottom and up and then back down again. And this, I think I'm going to make this uh, caterpillar's hat. I'm going to color it in with green, give it a smile. And then each circle can be a different color. Mine is so long it's not going to fit in <laughs> my video. So you can use crayons or markers to color it in or even paint. Maybe I'm going to paint mine, so I'll start the first circle, I'm going to make yellow, right? And then the next one, maybe purple, or you can, you know, it can be one color, it can be all green, all yellow. I'll make the next one green. Any colors you like. Give it some patterns if you want to. I think I'm just going to keep it different colors. Next one I'm going to make it orange. And you keep going till you color all of the circles. Next one maybe blue. So let's make a blue circle. Make sure you wash your brush well so it doesn't mix up and your colors do not get muddy. You can even skip some and come back. This is a purple color. Now I'm using watercolors, but you can use any paint you like. So I got purple. Maybe I'll go to dark pink. And then, hmm, what's the next color? Should I do another yellow or another green? Maybe I'll do another green. So my last circle is going to be green. And that's all you need to do for your caterpillar. You can of course add some grass, add some other bugs if you can draw some other bugs, add some flowers or sky. I'm going to add some simple grass. So it's moving around grass. And that's my fun colorful butterfly made out of traced circles. And next we're going to make a bumblebee. So we're going to start with bumblebee. We're going to draw with uh, first just a pencil and then color. You can use crayons or paint or even markers if you want to. And we're going to just use simple shapes like ovals, circles and lines to give it some stripes. So let's start. I'm just going to draw an oval. Let's see? And I know we uh, learned how to draw ovals before, but if you forgot, let's practice. You know, it will take a few tries to make a nice oval. 
And then we're going to make a bumblebee head, just a, a circle, smaller than its body. And then let's try and give it some wings. They're sort of like ovals, right? And maybe these ones are a little bigger and then the bottom wings are a little smaller, almost like circles that are not finished. And then um, let's give it some eyes. What else is it missing? It's missing stripes. So let's make some lines. And then when we're going to color it in, we're going to color it black and yellow, just like a bumblebee. So some antennas. And let's start coloring it. So I'm going to use yellow, crayons, and black to color its body first. So yellow. And we skip a line because that's going to be black. It also can be brown if you want to. So instead of black you can use brown. And then we're going to skip again, use yellow. And one more yellow. And maybe we can make Bumbles be had yellow too. I'm sure you're going to do a, a better job coloring because I'm trying to not be too slow, too long of a video. So now we're making black lines. Try to fill it in, not to have much white left. Stay inside the lines. Okay. <laughs> and you can leave the wings white, or you can use a very pale blue. Or you can just trace it in a pale blue color to make it more fun. Maybe we'll do eyes in black maybe give it a smile and now let's work on the wings so what do you think a little blue or should i color it in? maybe just leave it like this and then you can also add some flowers to your picture or clouds or just grass or other bumblebees so it's up to you. Um, I can make a few clouds, tiny little clouds. Um, maybe it's flying high so you can draw a tree on the bottom. So and color it in. So think if you want to draw flowers around it grass or trees and color it in make it a bright beautiful drawing and next we're going to make a butterfly so that's my tree and i would work on it a little more color it in better give it a little more details maybe color in clouds maybe even add a sun so think of what you want to add to your bumblebee drawing and have a lot of fun. Next we're going to make a butterfly and for this project we're going to need a pipe cleaner. Just one is enough. Maybe a string if you want. It's um, It would be nice if you have a string. Any color you'd like. Then we also need a coffee filter. I know it doesn't look like a coffee filter anymore. It's really flat. But if you have a coffee filter that would be perfect. If you don't have any coffee filters, um, you can use some tissue paper, a light color, white would be perfect, or a light pink, blue, and try trace a big circle and cut it out so it looks like a, a big circle. And then we're also going to use watercolors, or if you don't have watercolors, you can use um, washable markers, and then take some water and brush and paint with water over it. It's gonna 
mix together and turn more into paint, then it's not going to look like markers. But I'm going to use watercolors. I also recommend using some paper underneath your coffee filter when you're going to paint because it's going to go through and stain your table. So I'm just going to use paper that I don't need and I'm going to put my coffee filter and I'm going to use some paint and brush and water. And I would try and use lighter colors like yellow, pink, light blue, purple. So don't use a lot of um, dark colors because you want to make a bright and colorful butterfly. And I know there's so many patterns of butterflies and some of them do have really dark colors. So if you really want to, you can use dark colors. So I'm just going to paint the middle yellow. And it takes some patience, lots of water, so you can sprinkle some water. It's also going to take some time to dry. So once you paint it, give it like maybe 20-30 minutes to dry. Because if it's wet, it's very delicate and it's going to break. But if it dries, it's a little more sturdy. And tissue paper is even more delicate. So be really careful when you're painting your uh, coffee filter or your tissue paper. Use a soft brush and be gentle to it. And then after I use yellow, I'm going to use some red. And if I use a little more water, it's going to turn lighter. And it's going to look a little more pink. So I'm going to try and turn it a little lighter because this is very red. And then, you know, you don't have to go in a circles. You can make any kind of patterns. You can make stripes, anything you like, and any colors that you like. You can use green, um, blue, purple. I would recommend using at least three different colors because it makes it more colorful, more fun. And you see how my yellow and my <clears throat> really dark pink are bleeding together. They're kind of connecting and making making orange, right? And then after I use my dark red, I'm going to go around with blue. And that's going to take some time because it's, it's like so any more blue. And you can leave some parts really pale. Some parts darker. You can make your blue pretty thin and then use some purple maybe. So I'm gonna use purple out. This is very dark. Maybe we'll make it lighter or maybe we'll just keep it this deep dark purple. So try not to have much white. I think it's just more fun when you make it so colorful and your butterfly is gonna be really bright and colorful. So once I finish this, I'm going to let it dry, but I have the, um, a coffee filter that I painted before and it's somewhat dry, almost dry. So, and you can add a little more water to make the colors kind of connect together a little more. So this is, this is our finished painted coffee filter. But this is a coffee filter with similar colors that's already somewhat dry. And I'm going to fold it in the middle and try and have equal sort of circles, right? So it kind of looks like butterfly wings. I just fold it in the middle. I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to use my pipe cleaner and tie it around and try and have, again, try and have your pipe cleaner the same length at the ends. So I'm gonna tie it once. You can tie it a little more if you want to. I'm gonna twist it like this, hope you can see. And then the ends, I'm just gonna curl them up a little like this and you can shape it any way you want. But now this is our butterfly. It has beautiful wings and 
nice bright green antenna and then if you want to you can tie a string to it and that's gonna make it fly so you can hang it up or run around with it so it looks like it's gonna fly so I'm gonna tie it make a little knot and now it's a flying butterfly just like a real one let's try it it's flying somewhat somewhat crooked but i'll fix it so this is our butterfly really bright and pretty so have fun next we're gonna make a caterpillar <laughs> 